The polar vortex, often blamed for winter's worst, actually refers to a vast spinning mass of cold air high above the North Pole. This phenomenon is a crucial player in the Earth's climate system. This stratospheric vortex is a swirling pool of low pressure and frigid air, strongest in winter when the sun disappears and the temperature gap between pole and equator widens. The stark contrast in temperatures fuels its intensity, the jet stream acts as a fence, keeping this cold locked in the Arctic. It's like an invisible barrier that maintains the Arctic's icy grip. When the vortex is strong and stable, the cold stays put, and winters in North America and Europe are often milder. This stability brings a sense of predictability to the season, but sometimes this spinning top wobbles, disrupted by powerful atmospheric waves from below, these disturbances can be sudden and dramatic. When that happens, the jet stream's fence breaks down, and Arctic air can spill south, triggering severe cold snaps. These events can lead to extreme weather conditions far from the Arctic. These disruptions called sudden stratospheric warming events rapidly warm the stratosphere and shatter the vortex's spin. The impact can be felt across continents. The state of the polar vortex is a major driver of winter weather across the northern hemisphere. Its behavior can dictate the severity and duration of winter conditions. A disruption doesn't guarantee cold everywhere, but it raises the odds dramatically. The variability can make winter forecasting a challenging task. Where and when the vortex weakens determines which regions get hit hardest. Timing and location are crucial factors in the impact of these events. Meteorologists usually watch for these events in midwinter, but sometimes the atmosphere surprises us. Unexpected shifts can catch even the experts off guard. Late October 2025 is one of those surprises, a reminder that the polar vortex can break the rules. This early disruption has set the stage for an unpredictable season. Understanding these dynamics is key to long-range forecasting. Accurate predictions depend on monitoring the polar vortex closely. The polar vortex's behavior sets the stage for the winter ahead. Its influence can be felt far and wide. When it wobbles early the entire season can shift. The ripple effects can alter weather patterns for months. This year, the story begins before winter even arrives. The early signs are already rewriting the script for the season. As of October 22, 2025, something rare is happening overhead. The polar vortex is being disrupted far earlier than usual. This phenomenon is drawing the attention of scientists and weather watchers across the northern hemisphere, as it signals a dramatic shift in the atmosphere's usual rhythm. Instead of consolidating for winter, the vortex is weakened and displaced by strong planetary waves rising from the troposphere. These waves, which are essentially giant undulations in the atmosphere, are more powerful than what we typically see at this time of year. These waves have pushed warm air poleward, stretching and distorting the vortex before it could fully strengthen. As a result, the usual cold air con containment over the Arctic is breaking down, allowing warmth to intrude where it normally wouldn't. The result, a lopsided, weakened vortex shifted away from the North Pole toward Eurasia. This displacement is not just a minor wobble. It's a significant reorganization of the upper atmosphere. This isn't a classic sudden stratospheric warming, but a prolonged weakening that's setting the stage for early winter impacts. The process is slower, but its effects could be even more far-reaching and persistent. The timing is critical, such an event in late October is almost unprecedented. Typically these disruptions occur much later, so this early onset is raising eyebrows in the meteorological community. The effects of this disruption take time to reach the surface, filtering down over a couple of weeks. The atmosphere acts like a slow-moving conveyor belt, gradually transferring these changes downward. By early to mid-November, we'll see the atmospheric response in our weather. Expect a rapid transition with autumn giving way to winter conditions much sooner than usual. Europe is getting a preview of deep winter before autumn is even over. This early taste of winter could catch many off guard, affecting everything from travel to agriculture. Meteorologists are watching closely, as this early wobble could reshape the entire season. The data being gathered now will help refine forecasts and guide preparations for what's ahead. The atmosphere is rewriting the script for winter 2025-26. What was expected to be a typical seasonal transition is now anything but predictable. The implications are significant for weather, energy, and daily life. Early cold snaps constrain energy supplies, disrupt routines, and challenge communities to adapt quickly. The tone for the season ahead has already changed, and Europe is bracing 
for a winter that's arriving well ahead of schedule. The early polar vortex disruption is tied to a powerful high-pressure block over Greenland and the North Atlantic. This Greenland block acts like a boulder in the jet stream, forcing it to meander and creating a wavy north-south flow. Warm air is steered into the Arctic, undermining the vortex, while cold air is funneled south. The block opens the door for Arctic air to spill into Europe. Its persistence is unusual for October, hinting that the atmosphere is primed for cold. This blocking pattern is expected to strengthen as the stratospheric disruption couples with the surface. The result? A negative North Atlantic oscillation, favoring cold stormy weather in Northern Europe. The Greenland block is not just a trigger, it's the engine driving the cold southward. With the vortex weakened, this pattern could lock in for weeks. Europe is bracing for a winter pattern before winter even starts. Across Europe, the first signs of this atmospheric shift are already here. The blocking high is cutting off mild Atlantic air, replacing it with cold winds from the north and east. Temperatures are dropping, with widespread frosts arriving weeks early. The air feels raw and damp, and the transition from autumn to winter is abrupt. Precipitation patterns are changing, less moisture from the Atlantic, but more showers and sea effect snow near the North Sea and Baltic. Southern Europe may see more storms as Atlantic systems are deflected south. The overall weather character is shifting gray skies, persistent chill, and a sense that winter has arrived early. This is just the beginning, a preview of a colder, more challenging season ahead. The story of winter 2025-26 is already unfolding. By early to mid-November, the full effects of the polar vortex disruption will be felt across much of Europe, bringing a dramatic shift in weather patterns that will be hard to ignore. The Greenland block will strengthen, possibly joined by a powerful Siberian high, setting up a classic, cold pattern for Europe. This atmospheric setup acts like a barrier, steering frigid Arctic air directly into the heart of the continent. Expect a significant cold outbreak, temperatures 5 to 10 degrees below normal with hard frosts and snow even at low elevations. Many cities will see their earliest snowfalls in years, and daily life will be noticeably impacted. The cold will be most intense in Scandinavia, Eastern Europe and Germany, but will reach as far as France, the UK and the Alps. Even regions unaccustomed to early winter weather could see snow and ice. This isn't just a single cold snap, the pattern could persist for weeks, with only brief mild spells. Residents should prepare for a prolonged period of chilly, unsettled weather. November may see repeated cold waves, locking in an early start to winter. Each new front could bring fresh snow and reinforce the chill, making it feel like winter has arrived far ahead of schedule. Energy demand will spike as heating needs rise sharply. Households and businesses alike will feel the pressure to keep warm, leading to increased energy consumption. Early cold, could strain energy reserves and impact the economy. Governments and utility companies may need to monitor supplies closely to avoid shortages or price spikes. Travel disruptions from snow and ice are likely, catching many off guard. Commuters should expect delays, and transportation networks will be tested by the persistent wintry conditions. The atmosphere's memory means this cold pattern could last well into winter, shaping the season ahead and reminding us how quickly weather can change our daily lives. The impacts won't be uniform, regional differences will be stark, Scandinavia and Eastern Europe will bear the brunt, with deep freezes and heavy snow as Arctic air pours in. Central Europe, including Germany and Poland, will see persistent cold, freezing fog, and significant snowfall, especially if southern lows develop. Western Europe, UK, Ireland, France, will lose the Atlantic's moderating influence, facing colder, drier winds, and a higher risk of frost and snow. Even southern UK could see snow if moisture wraps around the high. Southern Europe will get more storms and rain as the jet stream shifts south, with cold air occasionally reaching the mountains. Flooding risk rises for Mediterranean coasts as storm tracks change. The coldest air stays north, but the entire continent feels the impact. This pattern will test infrastructure and preparedness across Europe. The weather battleground is set for a turbulent start to winter. Regional forecasts will be more important than ever. An early severe winter brings risks for everyone. Agriculture faces sudden frosts that can devastate late crops and gardens. Travel will be disrupted by snow and ice, with infrastructure and the public less prepared than in midwinter. Local authorities must ready salt, grit, and snow-clearing equipment now. 
households and businesses will see higher heating bills, straining budgets and energy grids. Vulnerable people may struggle to afford warmth, making government support crucial. Health risks rise as cold worsens respiratory and heart conditions. Hospitals may see more admissions, especially among the elderly. Staying warm, prepared, and informed is vital as winter arrives early. The sudden onset of cold is a wake-up call for all. History offers a warning. The autumn of 1981 saw a similar early polar vortex disruption. That year, Europe endured a brutal winter, with record cold and heavy snow, especially in the UK. The pattern, a weakened vortex, a strong Greenland block, and relentless Arctic air. The cold lasted for months, not days, shaping the entire season. Today's event echoes 1981, suggesting this could be more than a brief cold snap. Meteorologists are studying that winter for clues about what's ahead. This year, a developing La Nina adds another layer, favoring high-latitude blocking and a weaker vortex. When these drivers align, the risk of a long, hard winter rises sharply. The past is a powerful guide. Europe should take this signal seriously. With strong signals for an early, severe winter, preparation is essential. Stay informed with reliable weather forecasts and heat warnings. Prepare your home, check heating, insulate, and stock essentials in case of power cuts. Ready your vehicle for winter conditions and carry emergency supplies. Businesses should review contingency plans for weather disruptions. Planning ahead now can reduce stress and risk when severe weather hits. It's better to be ready for a harsh winter than caught off guard. The October 2025 vortex disruption is a rare, significant event. Learning from history and acting early can help us weather the coming months. The atmosphere has given us a warning, let's heed it as winter approaches.